very different movie this time around. We've been able to kind of get the introductions are over, and you know we've actually assembled some kind of dysfunctional family, um, but a family nonetheless. And uh, you know, of course, before everything goes awry, as it has to. Um, but you know, I mean, it couldn't be any easier to form a family with this group. I mean, we've known each other for years, and. Uh, it's, you know, we're very hard to wrangle. I just feel bad for Joss, that's all. Yes, we have Aaron and Lizzie, which is very exciting. And they're, they're such team players already. And they kind of came in, they wanted to know if we had any advice for them. And I was like, um, you guys don't need any advice. You're doing way better than us. We're falling apart, you know. So, yeah, a little bit of fresh blood. He's also, James is playing the kind of impossible role, role that when you read that script, you go, I'm so glad I don't have to like try to put this together because it's all over the place and he just is so seamless with it. I think he, you know, has this sort of Shakespearean quality to him. Um, you know, he plays it like Lear or something like that and it it's really really effective. You know, the the film is only as strong as the villain and I think James is just a formidable one. <laughs> to I mean, of course because I I don't think I've ever made a movie that kids could even see before. <laughs> so we have a, I have a whole new fan base, which is really exciting. And the fans are awesome. They're so dedicated and so supportive. And just knowing that you have a film coming out that people are rooting for and you know that they want to succeed is amazing.